A shooter, a mass shooter. At approximately 2.30 today, an individual who the mayor stated is not from this area and is from hours away, drove to the Buffalo, went to 1275 Jefferson Avenue to the Tops Market. He exited his vehicle. He was very heavily armed. He had tactical gear. He had a tactical helmet on. He had a camera that he was live streaming what he was doing. The individual exited his car and engaged four individuals. He shot four people in the parking lot. Three of those were deceased. One individual uh, at this time is surviving the injury. The individual went inside, as I said, he's an 18 year old white male, walked into the store and began engaging customers inside the store. One of the individuals inside the store is a security guard, a beloved security guard, who is a retired Buffalo police officer, a hero in our eyes, engaged the suspect, fired multiple shots, struck the suspect, but because he had heavily armed, uh, armored plating on, uh, that bullet had no round. The suspect engaged our retired officer and he was ultimately uh, shot and deceased at the scene. He continued to work his way through the store. Um, ultimately, um, he worked his way back towards the front of the store. Buffalo police immediately respond, engage the suspect in the uh, vestibule of the store. And at that point, the suspect put the gun to his own neck. Buffalo police personnel, two patrol officers, uh, talked the suspect into dropping the gun. He dropped the gun, took off some of his tactical gear, surrendered at that point, and he was led outside, um, put in a police car, and transported to Buffalo Police Headquarters. So as we said, a total of 13 people were shot today, 10 deceased at the scene, and three sustained um, non-life-threatening injuries. It appears to be non-life-threatening injuries at that point. Uh, four in total were store employees. One of those was the security guard who has worked at that location for a very long time. Um, and, uh, you know, many officers are on scene here, knew him quite well, and uh, the rest of the victims are customers of the store. Um, you know, as the mayor said, this is this, this uh, tragic incident by someone who is not a part of our community, does not live here. Um, at this time, shots rang out around 2.30 this afternoon at a Topps supermarket. A witness told a reporter at our sister station in Buffalo that they heard dozens of shots. Buffalo police confirm several people were hit, and there are reports that at least 10 people have been killed. Of course, this is a very this situation is very highly fluid, and the circumstances could change. Now, Governor Hochul tweeting that she is monitoring the situation and urging everyone to stay away from the scene. People have gathered around the store waiting for word on what is happening inside and if they know anybody who has been killed. The shooting leaving many of them in shock. It's not made at all. It's just unbelievable, unbelievable. It's hard to even muster. I just. It's unbelievable. I'm lost of words. So we do come together for one another in a time of grieving. Yes, we're pretty good. Everyone's pretty good and respectful of one another. But this right here, this is a cry out. It's just hard to explain. A cry out for help. Definitely, most definitely. Um, that, uh, again, may have been streamed on social media. There are reports of that. We haven't confirmed it. Uh, you know, you guys were just talking about the manifesto where uh, this man may have described himself as a white supremacist. I'm being told that we now have the soundbite uh, from one of the many witnesses who you see right there. Let's listen to what this person saw. He took the machine gun with the strap and put it to his chin. And I was hoping that he'll shoot himself. And he didn't. He put the gun down on the strap, and then he took his the gun, he put it down, he did put something on his feet, he took his vest off, and then he got on his hands and knees and got on his back, and then they arrested him. So, do you believe that this was a targeted attack? I have no idea, because no, it, it couldn't have been, because when I first saw him shooting, he shot a woman, he shot a deacon, he shot another woman, and then he went in the store and started shooting again. So I don't know who he was shooting at because he shot at least eight, eight people. And he was doing this when I see him because you can see inside the store. And so I saw him doing this and I'm like, I don't got a phone on me. So I'm like, somebody, I'm screaming, called up, somebody called the police. Who is the Um, He's a guy, uh, te Teeny, um, he's a Jitney. He's a good guy, he don't drink, he don't smoke. He don't curse, he don't swear. He's against violence and he gets shot by a gun. It's just ridiculous. No, he's, he does jitney, he takes people home. 
older people. He works at the Sneaker Town and he belongs to State Tapanaco Church. How scary is this for you to see this happening in a place that, that you live, you know people here? I put that into perspective for me. Well, being that um, next Thursday I'm going to be 51 and, I, and that's the only place where you can sit down, I was going to drink my juice and I was about to sit down. But something told me to go on by my business, and I'm glad I did, and I sat right there. And then two minutes later, I hear gunshots. So I would have been standing right there at Tops, and <laughs> who knows what would have happened. So I'm glad I, I, I left. So you can't feel safe in your own neighborhood. People come over here with army suits on shooting people. This is ridiculous. This is Sean L. Harris, and um, you're an operation manager at Tops. Um, can you tell me what you experienced? Well, I experienced today when I was in the store. I was working and what were you we just, doing? Um, putting up groceries and heard a noise. Uh -huh. Then I got louder and closer, and everybody started running towards the back. I got stumbled a few times before I was able to get out. And by the time I got out, I ran around the front of the building, experienced someone getting shot, and I ran back because I was looking for my daughter. Found well, my daughter, but we both okay. Okay, so your daughter, what does she do there? She's a, um, she worked as a grocery clerk. Okay, as a grocery. Did you see the shooter? Um, I seen him. What did he look like? Uh, he had army fatigue stuff on, and he, he was dressed like he was dressed for uh, army, in the army. So, um, with white tall male. white male, white male, yeah, okay, yeah, and and so he was in like army fatigues. Yes. I heard helmet. I heard yeah, that too. Yeah, and, and what kind of like a a rifle? Rifle. They, I seen all that, and I ran back at this. Yeah. So, so you, he still was shooting. So you were trying to find your daughter during yes. this. And and how many shots do you think were fired during this? <laughs> Over 70. Oh my God. There's a lot. There's a lot. Way back there. Repetitive. And then, so, so how did you escape? Um, through the back, through the back door. Okay. And, and you said you fell a couple times trying to get yeah, out. I got stumbled a couple of times. And there were, I mean, how full was, was the store? It was full. It was this full this weekend. It was full. Today was packed. So it's, yeah. And um, you said you, someone was shot in front of you? I, I witnessed one of them. Yes. Okay. Um, you know, I'm so glad your brother's here for you. Yes, and me too. yeah, I'm surprised me. I didn't even know he was here. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he was on his way. Which I mean, tell, I mean, tops. This everybody comes to the supermarket. Yeah, exactly. Right? Yeah. Even across town. I live across town. And I work here. Yeah. And, and, and can you tell me about like how you're? I, I mean, what do you what do you think? Of, I mean, this is a mass shooting, right? It's, it's like a nightmare. I feel like it's like. I, like a dream, but I know it's not Something a dream, you but, hear about, just, but you never experienced. Yes. You, know, you see like it. You see this on, on TV, TV, but you hear about on TV, but you yeah, don't even think, man, like the schools and things like that. But right. you never, I would never thought I would be one of them. <laughs> so, did, were you hiding in the back, or did you just run out the back? I was ran out the back as yeah. I got stumbled. I was running with everybody else. Yeah, and where did you find your daughter? In the store or outside? Um, I found her outside. Outside. And, outside. Yeah, yeah, outside. And what did you think when you... I, I mean, just think they know that they just grabbed her. I hugged her. Oh, God. oh, my gosh. And how long did it take for you to find her? As soon as we tomorrow right okay. here, it was uh, yeah. grabbing people. Okay. Because so many people was missing, and they were grabbing yeah. us, as so saying this missing. name, that name. When I seen her face, I just I was looking for her. So I seen her, but I was already with my niece. She was already outside with all of us. So, yeah. Oh, you found her. You found her first. Yes, okay. I seen her first. Thank God she was out. They escorted all the boys on the backside, and SWAT had um, yeah. SWAT and uh, special units was there. So they started gathering everybody together as we started going back in looking for other people. That was employees because that was the first initiative to get the employees and the customers out and get them to safety. Yeah. Yeah. Oh.